I should probably like find a blank spot so I can demonstrate that this is a nice blank. So when you're shading an eye here and we're gonna call this ball an eye, you have the eyeball, the um, pupil, well, no, the iris and the pupil. The iris is where, uh, you know, all the uh, eye stuff is. So, what this is, is actually an inside cone. So, you're seeing pupil and the eye color, which is, I think, the iris or the corona, I think. Well, yeah, this is the eye color. That's the pupil. And I'll just correspond each to each and call this eye ball. Where's the E? So, <clears throat> when you're shading, you're collectively imagining this ball is a big round object. So just like you'd be shading a normal ball, all the shading would be here. Thing is, because the light is going this way, most of that, most of the, a majority of the light, so we're just gonna call this, uh, maybe like light, things like that. <clears throat> Most of the light is going on this surface here. It does looking shiny, right? All the light's hitting here, and everything the light doesn't touch is dark. Thing is, this area right here does not hit the light because it's a surface, which means it's dark while this side is light. Therefore, while this area is not hitting the light, it's actually in darkness. And this area is not seeing that light that's bouncing on the ball of light. So, because the basic light is just bouncing and then the concave pupil which is going down instead of convex which is going up and I should I like make a uh, uh, floor or something like that basically the uh, pupils going inside slightly and since it's going inside it's being covered by the roundness of the eyeball and it's covered by the light and basically it's that's basically just how you're shading eyes so in this demonstration and i'm probably just going to get rid of you so we're just going to come on there you go. Come on. Okay. So, the way this works, I'm going to be super fast with this, is the entire eyeball, and yeah, the entire eyeball is a giant round spear. And what you're seeing is all the light here, and we're going to put the light in red. And all the light in red is going in this direction. So, collectively, it's all here under the shading. Like a round guy, like, like a round eye. The iris is actually concave, it's actually going inside the eyeball. So, because it's going inside the eyeball, like a uh, cone, let me make a thinner V. like a cone, all the light that's going that way is actually being covered 
by the inside wall of the cone. So more of the lights going on the left side of the cone than, well, the right side of the cone than the left side of the cone. So, in this case, it would be going over this light ball and the inside of the cone is actually at the top. So you're getting more shading at the top here and this is a really bad example because this diagram is flatter. But you know, for now we're gonna pretend that this is concave. So when uh, it's highlighted you're actually seeing the, uh, I'm gonna call it the lens because I actually don't know the contact lens here. So this is actually outside which technically is also being affected by the shading here. But usually artists don't draw that because that's more and more shading. That's a lot of elaborate shading. But what they instead do is mark the absolute highest highlights of the uh, eyeball pupil. But it also will have uh, the little highlight on the con concave parts that's shot uh, that's getting hit by the light so that's usually why you'll see in a lot of cartoons they'll have maybe i'm gonna draw the most anime eye imaginable or my eye you'll probably like see anime eyes where you will probably see like a pac-man oh, oh wow okay you're seeing a Pac-Man eye here, and you might see an eye like this, where it'll be it, it'll be uh, slightly pieing out, and then you have a Pac-Man eye like that. And that's basically a cartoon representation of what's happening here, is you're seeing the basic eye being like that. And of course, you have the eyelid. Oh. Yeah, the eyelids doing its eyelid stuff, and I drew on this actual diagram. And basically, that's how you do the eyes here. I'm not gonna save.